Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Illinois Stories. I'm Mark McDonald in Sherman at the Flag Farmstead. You know, back in 1871, when this house was built, there wasn't much out here. Uh, there was a frame house where the Flag family lived while they were building this house, but other than that, this was a lot of farm country. Now this part of Sherman is surrounded by new subdivisions. And Doug and Rose Polite, you've, you've taken on this, this piece of history, <laughs> yeah. uh, bought it, uh, I guess, about six years ago now. 2005. And, yeah. uh, and now it's a bed and breakfast, and, mm -hmm. and you and your wife live here. Right. What's it like living in a, in a, in a home that's actually sort of a landmark for this area? What I tell our, our guests is that we feel more like custodians and owners, that it's just a slice of history and, and uh, it, it, the impact of it uh, kind of fell on us uh, over time, you know. Uh, we didn't find out till uh, we were here several years that this was the old stagecoach road from Springfield to Peoria. Mm -hmm. um, three attorneys knocked on our back door one day and, and told us that this used to be part of Mr. Lincoln's law circuit that he used to ride. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we knew we had a Lincoln connection um, when we bought the property, but we just didn't know how much of a Lincoln mm -hmm. connection mm -hmm. we really had. In, know, in so. fact, one of your rooms is called the Lincoln the Lincoln bedroom, we, and it looks out on the road that would have been his exactly, uh, the circuit road. Exactly, right? exactly, <laughs> and, we, and, and we named it in honor of Mr. Lincoln. We're, we're gonna learn more about the Flagg family who built this later on in the program, but mm -hmm. first, let's take a real good look at this place. Okay. What do you know about the design and architecture of this house? Well, it's called an asymmetrical Italianate uh, style home. Um, the size of the windows, the, the uh, little oval windows under the roof line, the corbels under the roof line mm -hmm. uh, are all uh, characteristic of Italianate style. Um, it had a, originally had a very formal front porch and a, and a formal uh, side porch here to the south and two matching back porches. Um, those have been modified uh, by the flags and uh, they made it into a wraparound porch in the uh, somewhere between 1930s and 1950s and then when the home was made into a bed and breakfast in 1989 they took the north back porch and and made it into uh -huh. several rooms in the house so. and boy this baby's really constructed too isn't it because i think you were telling me there there are three layers of bricks the, in, the interior and exterior walls are solid brick that and those brick walls start in the basement on dirt and go straight up to the floor of the mm -hmm. attic. And in the attic, uh, the exterior perimeter walls continue up about four or five feet, and then the roof line goes up from there. Mm -hmm. uh, the attic is about 1,250 square feet and has nine foot ceilings in the center of it. Wow. So. And, then, and I'm looking at those oval windows up there. Is that typical mm -hmm. for, the, for that design? It is of Italianate style, yeah. It's beautiful. In many cases, yeah. There are 13 of those in the attic. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to go inside and tour this house, and like I said, we're going to learn about the flags too. But walk with me over here, if you would, because sure. this building that we see over here, and this is would have been their, uh, this would have been their barn. It ages to about the same time as the, they were, the house. They were all built at the same time between 1871 and 1872. Uh, and I tell our guests this: that five black gentlemen from Springfield walked six miles out here every day, and made an estimated 400,000 plus bricks for the four buildings that were made back then. No kidding. And then they were made on site. Mm -hmm. They I'll were made in, in, they were fired in Paul Flagg's backyard. I'll be darned. Mm -hmm. Some of this property, this property we're on, it's still in the Flagg family, isn't it? Uh, the carriage house, uh, which is uh, one of the oldest, if not the oldest brick carriage house or barn in Salmon County, uh, is still in the Flagg family. Mm -hmm. The ground, of course, dates all the way back to the 1850s. Uh, the barn built in 1871, 1872, and the, then the little log house south of here um, is still in the Flag family yeah, as you well. You can barely see it from where we are, and the sun's yeah, looking right the, at us. The the there. But there is a cabin over there, and that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. This is maybe the oldest brick barn in Sangamon County. Mm -hmm. And then over here, the, the ice house, which you use for a garage, right. that also dates, that's that's original uh, piece it, of work as well. It was, it was one of the four original uh, buildings. Um, and I'm not sure when it was converted into a garage. Mm -hmm. And then originally behind the uh, house, 
uh, in the backyard basically was a, a little brick building called the Mechanics Building. It was taken down in the 1830s, mm -hmm. 1840s, or 1930s, 1940s. And then originally there was a frame smokehouse that attached to the back of the house. Mm -hmm. And that was destroyed in a 1940s by a tornado yeah. that came through here. I'll tell you, the flags weren't missing much, were they? They no. pretty much had everything they no. needed, huh? Well, I got to tell you a little bit about the barn, which tells the, the, the truth about that story. Here, yeah. Right? Um, that uh, barn was a real piece of work originally. It, it, behind the big pine tree, there's about 15 feet of very detailed scrolled fascia that lined uh, the roof line. It had gutters and downspouts. Wow. It had uh, double hung windows and, and uh, shutters. Uh, it has an operating well inside of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you didn't have to go outside mm -hmm. in the winter for water. So it was, it yeah. was uh, really nice it for its outfitted. time. Yeah. It was outfitted. Yeah. Well, listen, speaking of nice for its time, let's go into your house, okay. into your b, b because this is a, a tour I want to get. Sure. Okay, well, I traded, I traded Doug for Rose here. Rose is going to give us a tour of, of, of the parlor first. Sure. Um, you, you and Doug bought the house back in 2006, I think. Right, huh? right. So, so it, you, you figured out that this was probably the, the formal parlor where they would have brought people guests. that were, yeah, right. people that were right. calling, right. not the family, where they would be in another part, but this sure. is where they would bring sure. their guests. Huh? Yes, if we had a formal guest, yeah, like we'd us. bring them in. The <laughs> That's right, we bring them in the parlor. So. Um, I asked Doug this outside. What's it, what's it like living in uh, like a landmark, a historical landmark like this? Because this is on the oh, National Register yes, of Historic yes, Places, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, we feel like we're caretakers, you know, really, of the property. And we both like history so much mm -hmm. that um, it's really been a joy to do it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of work, of course, but it's really been, it's been fun because we've got to a chance to look back at the history of the house. You, you, you know, you don't have a lot of original furnishings in here, but what I like, I like about this room is um, you have the Flag family piano yes, in here, and it's do. right behind you. Can we, we take a look at that? Yes, yes, yes. Needs, yes. needs to be tuned. I, uh. Oh, it's, it's not good. <laughs> it is really, in fact, we had a guest that was from the, um, he was a piano tuner that tunes the pianos mm -hmm. for the Kennedy Cord, Center yeah. or something. And um, <laughs> so he said it's very bad. Oh, it needs, yeah. it needs I, I hope that it, I hope it's you know it's in good enough shape that it just needs a tuning. That would be great. Yeah. This is interesting. <laughs> yes, this is the original check that um, Cornelius were actually yeah C flag um, wrote in 1910 for the piano. And how much so. how much did you pay for it? hundred and eighty two dollars. hundred and eighty two. Like. That was a that was a piece of change back that, then, wasn't that it? That was, was a lot of money was, for this that piano. Was. Yeah. Now we were talking about the fact that this is oh before we leave this part of the I love this because these windows go yes. all the way to the floor. Yes. And that's that, yes. that's a I guess that's an Italianate sort of style. Yes. Yes. Um, but that's it you is. can almost walk right out on the porch. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you knew this was the formal parlor because of the fireplace. Yes. Yes. It's a different. It's different than the other fireplaces. This is yeah. It's marble. It's marble. It's marble. Mm -hmm. It's yes. gorgeous, and you've got some built-in bookcases there too. Yes. Um, and I think you get a sense for when you look through the doorway, you get a sense for how high these ceilings are. Yes. Because look how high the, the high the cuts are for the doors. Really, really nice. This would have been, as we go through into the other parlor, this would have been. The original uh, entrance, because this is the front hall, and you can see the, yes. you've got the Christmas tree here, but you can see this big oval doorway yes, there. Yes, and they're beautiful doors. Oh, gorgeous. Um, do you ever open them up? Yes, we do. When we have guests, there's a stained glass underneath there uh, at the top, and we do open them for so guests like to see. So like when you open there's like a stained glass, yeah, like a transom kind of. Right, okay. right. Again, in here, now this is this would have been the family parlor. This would have been. And uh -huh. you've got this, again, these two windows that, yes. that uh, go right out on, yes. onto the porch. How neat. Yes. We didn't talk about the medallions. I don't know. This is original. Um, oh, the plaster works beautiful. Uh -huh. And the one in the formal parlor that we were just in mm -hmm. has corn and wheat. And, oh, it's uh, a harvest, kind yeah, of a harvest yeah, scene. Yeah. Huh? It, it is so, beautiful. 
And, and those were here. Those were, those were here. Yeah. Those are original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and we mentioned, you know, the fireplace in there. Oh, th this house is full of fireplaces because yes. that was their source of heat, yes. of course. Yes. And they burned coal yes. in here, didn't they? Yes. Um, and this is this is iron. Iron. Mm -hmm. You can tell that mm -hmm. this is not marble. It's right. iron. Right. Right. And then what right. you've done, are, are, are your predecessors in this house have have painted. They've painted, faux painted mm -hmm. over. Yeah. It looks terrific. Yeah. But it does. It yeah. looks. And then, of course, you would have had your guests later on in the evening, probably into the dining room. Yes. And uh, this is, there, there, there's not a whole lot real noteworthy in here, except I find it interesting that they had a door from the back porch into the dining room. Yes, this house has many doors, it as does. you've seen. But um, yes, um, and with the transit, probably for air circulation and I don't know. Mm -hmm. We could get a fast getaway. Maybe. Yeah, fast getaway. The meal wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. That's possible. Um, and then, of course, you had a built-in china yes. cabinet over here, which is really, I mean, Mrs. Flagg probably loved that. And then again in here, we've got this, is yeah. that the iron again? Is that? Well. Hard to tell what that it's is. It's hard to tell. Um, it's not marble. It's not marble. Mm -mm. But it, it's, uh, um, I have always thought this was just like the one in the other parlor. Mm-hmm. Um, the iron, but mm -hmm. um, nice painting job. We didn't do that. Mm -hmm. That was that was there. And, and this so. is nice because right here we get a we get a look at um, this this magnificent stairway, and we're going to get a better right. look at that as we as we go right. up. But you can see here right. that uh, that that walnut right. is just gorgeous. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Arose the vittles that would have been served in the dining room, of course, would have been prepared. Sure in the kitchen. Yes. And you're kind of fortunate because this kitchen has been changed a lot, but it hasn't been altered fundamentally. It's still right, basically right. the same shape and everything. Right, else. right, right. They had a big kitchen. I guess for back then, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. They probably maybe had a table here in the middle instead of the island. But right, right. But I'm sure mm -hmm. that this is where they, this would have been a table where they prepared their food yes. and now, you know, you use it for the same sure. thing, I guess. Sure. They cooked, oh, this has been added, these bricks have been yes, added. Yes, those were added in the 60s, mm -hmm. and, um, but the, cook, the original cook stove was there because the chimney is right there in back of it, mm -hmm. so that's where the original cook yeah. stove would yeah. be. So that works yeah. really good for you guys yeah. because cause yeah. you, you've got the yeah. chimney there. And, right. and the sink was here. The sink was there in a different form. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, looks, it looks better now. They wouldn't have envisioned anything like this. But, but the cistern and the well are right outside. Yes, right so, outside. So, so this is where the yes. water came in. Yes. Well, interesting thing about this kitchen on the back of the house, um, you have a lot of windows in here now. Right, but oddly, right. you had, they had a lot of doors here. Those, oh windows, my gosh, those doors yes. have been turned yes. into windows. Yes, there were six doors in here. <laughs> Um, well, that one over there came in yes, from the porch. Yes. Um, and then you also have one on the back that, yes, you, that is yes, still there that yes, you don't use. Right. This door to my right. over here, that one right. outside, I guess. Yes, right? yes. There was a back porch just like the one on the right here. There mm -hmm. was a back porch on this side to match that side. I see. Mm -hmm. And they had a setup down in the basement for cooking as that's well. That's right. That's right. Large fireplace. With, that you hung the big pot on and, mm -hmm. and you could cook. Down. I guess if it yeah. was too hot to cook in the house, yes. they could go down yes. there to be a little cooler. Right. right, right. Interesting. No air conditioning back then. No, oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, we, we got so, it, it's become a necessity right. now for us. Anyway. Oh, but gosh. They, were, they, they, they had a lot of airflow. Yes. They concentrated on yes. that, didn't they? With the doors and the transepts above mm -hmm. the doors mm -hmm. and so, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, Doug, we're, we're looking at the man who was responsible for where you now live. Correct. Cor Cornelius uh, footed the bill for this house, probably had something to do with designing it, I would think, as well. Don't you think so? Um, I'm sure he helped in the architectural selection, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, um, he was, had to be a wealthy man. He was a, a very prominent businessman, and I consider him to be an aggressive businessman. He was a risk taker, as they said. Mm -hmm. um, and. Um, did very well for himself. We've got a, one of his old uh, statements here, or, or part of his business stationery, I guess. You can see Sea Flag Manufacturer of Lumber. He happened to be manufacturing lumber when there was a great need for railroad ties. Correct. Because they were building the railroads through, well, through the whole country, but particularly through this part. Through of the this area. Yeah. yeah, he and three other gentlemen, Mr. Sherman, the village is named after uh, Mr. Hickok and, and Joe Ledley, who's now a prominent figure in the uh, new surveying museum downtown, mm -hmm. 
uh, and Mr. Flagg were the four gentlemen that brought the railroads through this area. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Flagg supplied the wood not just for the railroad ties, but any wood needs that the railroad companies had back then. Um, and I, I don't know if I mentioned, but he, he did serve 11 different railroad companies back wow. then. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. So that explains the fortune. Yeah. At a, at a penny and a half of a foot per railroad tie. Mm. So. Wow. I, I love these old pictures. You've got here one here from the 1950s, and it gives us a chance to see how much Sherman has changed. These are the buildings that we saw outside with you earlier in the program. The, the house is here, of course, mm -hmm. and the ice house is here, mm -hmm. and the brick barn is here. Mm -hmm. And as you look behind, there's nothing else. <laughs> no, he had 300 acres, and it all, by the time it was sold in 1968, it all laid behind mm -hmm. uh, the house, east of the house. Wow. I mean, and, and, this and it is, goes all, almost all the way back probably to where and, the village is now. That, and that's rich farmland. And he, like you said, he had 800 acres at one time. He had so. 800 acres in this area at yeah. one time, including the 300 he had yeah. here. And, and this is great, too, because just down the road, if you take, you're on Old Tipton School Road here. Mm -hmm. If you take Old Tipton down to the Sangamon River, which is a very, very short trip. About four blocks. You would have seen this mill in mm -hmm. operation mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. I never knew there was a mill there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the Carpenter Mill, and it's part of the Carpenter family's uh, uh, property. Um, there's, to my knowledge, there's still a little building, and I'm not sure which one, uh, that's part of the uh, pro shop at the rail. If you go there, you'll see that little pink right, brick. Right, right, the old, yeah. That's yeah, part of the, the I don't, it's not their home, I don't think, uh -huh. but it's part of the Carpenter Part of family. the operation. And huh. their, their home back then was called the Six Mile House because it was open to travelers. And we know that Mr. Lincoln stayed there uh, as he traveled back uh -huh. and forth. Uh -huh. um, and this house, okay, let's take mm -hmm. a look, another look at this house from, oh, this is the early 1900s. These are uh, some of the flags. This is, the, the man is the son. Uh, Allie Flag. Allie Flag is the son. Son of Cornelius. And his wife, and Mary. of course their kids. Mm -hmm. And you can see what the toys they provided them in the yard were these these mock animals that the kids yeah, are climbing. Those are actually iron yard art. Oh, they are, yeah. they're iron. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. The family never did anything halfway, did they? <laughs> no, they did <laughs> <laughs> Now, this home was built um, by a man named Bet Bettinghouse? Bettinghouse. Bettinghouse. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we've got a picture of his Springfield business here, too. Right. Um, this would have been, uh, oh, he's one of these gentlemen in here, but you can see this is his uh, carpenter and builder, and this was in Springfield. His mm -hmm. operation mm -hmm. was in Springfield. Yeah. And he had quite a reputation, I guess. He built this home, and, and as the, the readings go, several other uh, very nice homes in the Springfield area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can attest to the fact that the, the, when, when he built something, it stayed. It, yes. Um, I've been told by, uh, well, actually one of our guests, that the bricks, the way they were made, are likely to be here for a long, long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and here's a picture of bedding house here. This, this is uh, Henry, the Henry, mm -hmm. the, cons the construction uh, guy, and this mm -hmm. is his son over here, George. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, thank you so much. I think we have one more. Um, I know we have one more stop to make. We're going to go up in the attic, which you have cleaned out for us. Right? Yes, and we're going <laughs> to see. got permission to see. see. <laughs> From your wife. <laughs> yes. And, and one or two of the bedrooms. Correct. Uh, so we can see what you've done upstairs. Yes. Okay. Terrific. Good. Oh. Well, Doug, on our way up these stairs, we've got to these, these beautiful winding staircase mm -hmm. all the way up to the attic. We've got to right. mention this walnut woodwork. Right. The handrails walnut oh. and, and the balusters are oak. And, it's, and actually, when you got the house, it was in really good shape, wasn't it? We haven't done a thing to uh, the staircase or the floors or anything, really. You're so fortunate. And I love the way this chandelier hangs clear from the third floor all the way down to the front hall. That's, yeah. that's a piece of work there. It really is. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so Doug, here on the second floor, you have five, five bedrooms, right? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if we go to the one that's that's toward the front of the house, which is where the main road was, the one that we mentioned that Lincoln would have taken his right. on his circuit ride. Right. You call this the Lincoln, and bedroom. for that reason, yeah, yeah, because yeah. he would have gone by here many times. Yeah. And and I didn't tell you, but uh, we've since we've opened as a bed and breakfast, we've had people from all over the world uh, here for uh, Mr. Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, number one, I would say, and Route 66, number two. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, from South Korea to Australia and everything in between, Kenya, 
Netherlands, uh, Spain. Uh, we had one couple uh, from Spain that uh, flew into O'Hare, rented a Harley Davidson, and rode it to <laughs> our house was their first stop. All things American, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. um, this, this Lincoln bedroom used to be adjoined to, was it the Sarah Flag Sarah bedroom? Flag next door? Mm -hmm. There was a door here. Correct. And you, you don't hear this in this house. You don't hear this no, sound no, very often. You, normally, you're knocking on brick. Because that's so. drywall. Yeah. Yeah, OK. But there but there was a door there that adjoined. Right. And of course, the, the room, the home didn't have bathrooms back then. You've added those. Yeah. But what I like, what I want to show here is there's a there's a window here mm -hmm. that used to go all the way to the floor. And it was, a, in fact, a door. And you could get out on that deck. Onto the front porch. Onto the front yeah. porch. Uh -huh. And you could just sit There's out there actually and take a, win it a window in the bottom pane section was big enough that you could raise it and, and go out. That's and go what right we were out told. there and yeah. do a little sunbathing, huh? Right. And back in, and across the hall here is another uh, bedroom that we want to take a look at. And as we pass through the hall there, I want to mention you have a bathroom here and you had a bathroom on the other side. When, the, when they didn't have bathrooms, that was the sewing room. That was the sewing room, and the door to that room was uh, where the mirror is in the hall out here on the uh -huh, second floor. Uh -huh. yeah. So you'd walk straight down the hall, and, and you could go right into the sewing right room. Right into the sewing room. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, what, this is, uh, this these is are the, all about the same size, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, this is our new Salem room. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, giving credit to Mr. Lincoln and, yeah. and uh, the fact that we're in his land, basically. Yeah. So. <laughs> there are not a lot of closets in this house, as there weren't in, in those days, but show us that one, because it's very interesting. There, yeah, I was shocked the first time I opened one of the closet doors, because they're, <laughs> they're about, uh, so about a foot deep, is yeah. all, because there, there weren't many clothes. They didn't you have many clothes. You could hang a shirt, and, and that's about it in there. Yeah, your pants and a shirt. Yeah, your Sunday finest, and that was about <laughs> it. Yeah. And, and then, like we talked about, uh, Back then, there was a room tax. If the closet was too big, mm -hmm. it got taxed as a room. So yeah. they kept them really small. Keep that to a minimum. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed there's a fireplace in almost every room downstairs, but there aren't any up here. We were surprised with as nice a home as this is that, that Mr. Flagg didn't have uh, fireplaces put on the second floor. Uh, and as the, the Flags have told me, that in this room that we're in, uh, you could freeze water in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> so you really had to get prepared to go to bed. Yeah, you that's had right. a hot brick or that's something. Right, that's that right. And, and dressing bed. layers because yeah, exactly. you're going to need it. Exactly. <clears throat> well, Doug, we'll get to the back of the house, and you literally step down, don't you, in class when you get really back here. really do. As I told one of our guests one day, that it's not only a physical step down, it's a social step down as well. And, and why is that? Well, this door separates the... the uh, house, the formal part of the house, uh, from the, what I call the informal part of the house. Mm -hmm. And this is where the farmhands stayed. That's why we call oh. it the farmhands roost. Um, but uh, you, yeah, you step down and the woodwork gets smaller. Uh, this door is actually thinner than the other doors uh -huh. in the house. Uh, yep. So it's just kind of amazing. Yep. Well, you know, look at the, the ceiling. There's Ceiling's no crown the crown hole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just it's yeah. it's basic pretty, stuff. Pretty simple. I would have thought I would have thought it, it, not knowing anything about this family that this would have been the servants' quarters, but actually, this is where the far, the farmhand yeah. would would stay. Here. From what we can tell from the pictures, uh, like here on the wall, uh, he had probably four or five farmhands mm -hmm. uh, at any one point in time. Yeah, and they might have all slept in here. Oh, they would have. Yeah, I mean, yeah, all, this was it. This, bunk, See, either this, this or the outhouse. I mean, and, and, and they're, they were lucky to have this. A lot of guys probably stayed in out, outside in a shed or something yeah. where there was no heater. Yeah, you know. that's right. Huh, very interesting. Yeah, and this, this wall was added when it was made into a bed and breakfast. This, this wall was put in. This room normally would have gone from those windows to the windows in the bathroom. Uh, oh, I and see. And it, it's roughly the size of the kitchen. And that was done to make another bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. This sits really right on top of the kitchen downstairs. Mm -hmm. hey, Doug, it's almost it's almost dizzying to go up and down <laughs> these steps yeah. with this winding stairway. I love it though. Uh, at the very top, you get rewarded because you've got a big attic up here, and you got some plans, don't you? I really do. It's uh, <laughs> it's roughly 1,250 square feet uh, with nine foot ceilings here in the center, and um, uh, I'm tickled that at Patty Doyle's once again. Uh, I was lucky enough. I didn't want just any pool table if I could get an old table. one. Yeah. Uh, lucky enough to find a, uh, an 1890 
Oh, Brunswick, neat. bulky oh, colander, oh. uh, full-size pool table. Mm -hmm. And then the other day I was in there and that billiard light lamp was uh, sitting right inside the door. Ideal. So I was lucky enough to find it. Ideal. Um, and I'm just starting to do the, the walls to cover the insulation, mm -hmm. so. Yep. But and then the, this will be a place for your guests. They can come up here. There will be a little kitchenette here. There will be like a theater room here where they right. can watch some movies or something. Mm -hmm. You'll have a, a, a sort of a, an eating, a, a stand-up eating bar here. Well, I'm going to call this a conversation area. Um, there's going to be a bar here that covers these pipes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there's a black walnut tree that we took down. And I got 90 feet of black walnut mm -hmm. out of it. And I'm going to have a black walnut uh, bar top. You, so. you and Mr. Flagg had that in common. Anyway, you like that walnut. Yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bear to burn it or throw it away. So, <laughs> so, so things are changing here at the, at the uh, Flagg Farmstead. The Polites welcome people from in the, around the area who are curious about this old home and who want to visit about it and maybe come in and see it. And, of course, they're open for business as a B&B. &B. With another Illinois story in Sherman, I'm Mark McDonald. Thanks for watching. Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. For a DVD copy of the program you've just seen, send 1995 to Network Knowledge, P.O. Box 6248, Springfield, Illinois 62708. Be sure to include the program name, subject, and when the program aired. You can also order with your credit card by calling 800-232-3605.